Today I'm going to fix a quick, delicious meal from leftover meals. The ingredients you need for this are red pepper, green pepper, one whole onion, our leftover roast beef. This was an eye round roast, in fact, that I made. Leftover gravy. I make extra gravy purposely to have leftover for this recipe and for my open hot roast beef sandwiches. A bottle of, you don't need a whole bottle naturally, of hot sliced pickled jalapeno peppers and a red wine. I'm going to chop and slice my peppers, my onions, and my roast beef and get them ready to go into a hot slice of onion. I cubed my uh, peppers. I cut them in fairly large pieces. I'm now slicing my roast beef, and I'm cutting the roast beef. I've trimmed all the fat off of it, and I'm cutting it into maybe about a half inch, quarter of an inch thick. Then I'm going to cube it into bite-sized pieces. I'm trying to cut enough roast beef to have a serving of four, so I'll cut in half, and I'll cut in half again. And I think that would be perfect for uh, serving four. Also, I'm going to add tomatoes to this recipe, and I, uh, this is an optional thing. You can put tomatoes in, you can. I, I like the flavoring tomato give. So I have a small tomato. The ones I'm using today are called Campari tomatoes. Adding some olive oil to coat a skillet. So it's really hot, nice and hot. I'm going to add the chopped peppers. After the peppers were softened, I started sauteing the sliced onions and the sliced mushrooms until they have softened. And now I'm going to add the leftover roast beef. Stir that so that gets, the meat gets warm. The meat, remember, is fully cooked. So all we're doing is really blending flavors now. Now, I'm going to add the sliced tomatoes, stir those through, I'm going to add enough of the beef gravy to coat the meat and the vegetables. Let's see, I have about two cups in here, so let's see how much we're going to need. We might need all of this. I think we do. Yep. Thank goodness I had some left over for hot roast beef sandwiches yesterday. Mix that through. Now, the fun ingredients that really make this special are the pickled sliced jalapeno peppers. I like very spicy, so you will have to judge how much you want to spice this up. I'm going to use one, two, tablespoons, fairly heaping tablespoons of peppers, and also add some of the pickle juice, oh, a couple of tablespoons of that, that really spices it up, mix that through, and final add-on, added addition is about oh, a quarter of a cup of the red wine, dry red wine, burgundy, Chianti, you have on hand. Mix that through. That's going to simmer on low until everything is tender. As I said, the meat is fully cooked, so what we want to do is cook the vegetables through, get some flavorings mixed in there. I cover it, put it on low. When it's done, check for seasoning if you need to add more salt and pepper. And if your gravy is too thin and you want to thicken it up, I always use some Wondra flour. Just add a little bit of that, stir it up until it's as thick as you It's been about 30 to 40 minutes that our beef stir fry has been cooking. And as you can see, it's ready. The tomatoes have cooked down. The vegetables are all soft. I'm going to check for seasoning, see if we need any more salt and pepper. Spicy hot. 
Just a tiny bit more salt. I'm definitely not going to put any more pepper in it. So just a little bit of salt. And I feel that's too thin a gravy, so I'm going to thicken it up with some flour. Sprinkle this in. I'll sprinkle a little bit in. Maybe that looks like about a tablespoon to start. And stir that through. And just keep stirring. And get it to the consistency that you this is excellent served over egg noodles, over uh, brown rice, white rice, or just by itself. Hope you enjoy this.